Executive sponsors are important to a project or a program because they connect the project and the project team to the rest of the organization kind of laterally, and they also connect it upward into the executive suite. Our business has known the importance of sponsorship for quite some time, and so we do our very best to engage with our sponsors to make sure they understand that they are a part of the project and that they sign up and advocate the whole way through the project's life. Executive sponsors clear roadblocks. Executive sponsors are those who make decisions when there's a decision to be made. They advocate for the resources, both human resources and budget, when projects need additional funding or there's competition for project work. And without that, projects can get lost. They can get stopped or stalled. And I think that's probably why an executive sponsor is so important. It's that connection to the rest of the organization. Project sponsors must understand that they are on the hook for delivery because they are the project. They are the ones who signed up to an idea, they secured company capital, they secured a project team and key resources to go and get this product or service built. When the delivery phase is over and the project is in the market, they are the ones who are accountable to the leadership team for the benefits that are coming in the door or not coming in the door as a result of the project. I think there are three things that an organization can do to get the best use out of an executive sponsor. One of those is creating a culture where executive sponsors are really seen as a critical project resource. If an organization has a culture where it supports an executive sponsor and gives that person the capability and freedom to actually sponsor in a meaningful way, then I think they can be very successful. And the way we do that is explain to them the importance of being a sponsor. We induct them into the role, we train them, we put together round tables and get them to collaborate and share stories about the challenges they're experiencing being a sponsor. The second thing I would say is that organizations that are most successful with executive sponsors really focus on the most important skills, influencing, being able to understand the organization and have that organizational savvy in order to influence across and up in the organization. A good sponsor knows how to engage with the project. They understand that they are the advocate of the project. They have vested interests in the outcome. And then the third thing I would say is that organizations that are most successful provide training for executive sponsors the same way that they would provide training for anybody who's moving into a, another role or another skill set within the organization. All of the presentations that we do and the material that we provide to, uh, to organizations to help build that capability within their own organization is all based on our research and that helps the project managers and the PMO directors and the, the team that's delivering the value uh, within an organization be advocates for that capability within the organization. Thanks for watching. Learn more at PMI.org or in our PMI playlist. Next up is Mapping the Value Delivery Landscape. And as always, please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.